Hi everyone. My name is Tabitha. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about purchases journal. All purchases journal for resale. All purchases journal are that are for resale and therefore they are all exempted from PST, which is Provincial Sale Tax. The cost of they are exempted from PST. The cost of goods should also be entered in the purchases journal column. Example for purchases invoice for all purchases for resale what is on the invoice you have to record supply supply address on the left side and you record customer address on the right side the next thing is to do the date on the invoice the term of payment, the invoice number, the customer service, the customer numbers are placed below to those two addresses. And then finally, you will record final transaction. Let's see how this invoice look like. This is the picture. This is the picture of an invoice. So the supplier is called Johnston Computer Suppliers, RT. This is your business number. When you come here, you have the address for the supplier. On your right side, you have the address for the customer, which is your company now. So when you come down here, you have the date that record the date when the invoice was written. You have the invoice number, the customer number. This is the term of payment, which is net 30. After a month, you would pay that invoice. This date. Explain the date when when that transaction took place. You have the quantity and you have the item which is get away 700x computer. You have the price. So now how do you get the total? If you get this total, you get the, the quantity which is now one time is the price. So you get that total and then you have the subtotal which is that and then pst is exempt you don't have it and gst is added which is 173 so when you add it up you get the total of 2645 that's the total of your invoice now as an accountant of that company, you will want to record purchase journal for that transaction. First of all, you have to know the process and put the right information where it's supposed to be. Number one, the process of recording journals, you lease the date of the invoice, not the date of the purchase, the date of the invoice. In this case, it's 12 of January 2003. And then you enter the vendor's name, which is the Johnson Computer Supply. And again, and again, you do the vendor's number. You record the invoice total, which is 2,645 on your pay account payable. 
this is the liability account that your company is going to pay after 30 days. Then you enter the purchases on the purchases column. And finally, you put the GST 173. In this case, we don't have any PST because this item is for resale. So <clears throat> you will charge that PST on the sale later. Let's see. The next thing is our journal. Now, this is how it looks like. The process that I showed you in, in the previous slides. This is the day of the invoice, which is that. And then this is the name of the vendor and the vendor's numbers here. And then this is the bill, the account payable that your company is going to pay. is credited with the amount of 2,645, which is equal to the total invoice too. And then you have this purchase, which is debit with 2,471.96. And then you record your GST here. So this is the hand of our journal. The purchases journal. The purchases journal for item to be resolved is look different from the one that is for the item for use in the business. In this, we have the purchases column with the purchases amount. But in the other example is you record that amount plus the PST in the office supply. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching. See you next time.